vlogmas day 13 i hope you're all really well so i've parked up again before i go into work um it's currently 20 to 9 so i'm not starting till nine o'clock today because i had some errands to do at the supermarket and the mum said why don't you do it on your way in and then um come in a little bit later so yeah i've whizzed to the supermarket already i've gone to get some bits and bobs ready for activities today so one of the children has got a play date coming round so this morning we're going to do some gingerbread play-doh um so the children i look after they're all school age now but it's amazing how everyone really does enjoy a bit of play-doh it doesn't matter what age you are and there's this brilliant recipe by a lady called anna from the imagination tree and she makes gingerbread play-doh so I'm going to do that because then it's a real sensory experience. It smells amazing. Um, yeah, hopefully they won't eat it though. <laughs> They're old enough not to know better. Um, so yeah, I've got the ingredients for that. And then this afternoon, we're going to make some gingerbread houses so that um, tomorrow when they've got another play date, um, they can all decorate the gingerbread house. So we're going to make some mini gingerbread houses. So yeah, I will uh, try and get some pictures of those things that we do today. So yeah, that was my job to do this morning, to go and get those bits and bobs. And then yeah, I've got about 15 minutes to, before I need to go in. So I thought I'd come on and say hello. I hope you're all really well. Um, traffic was much better this morning. I managed to get off the main road easily. Yesterday was a bit of a nightmare, but today, yeah, it was fine. Um, yeah, and now I'm going to open my advent. So what have we got today? Oh, it's very cute. It's a little snowman and little, looks like a little ski village with little houses. Reminds me of when you go skiing in the Alps. Looks lovely. Um, right, let's open this up, see what we've got. Russell, 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 Russell. Oh, that's handy. Look, some little snap fasteners. Aren't they handy? Now, what size are they? They're nine millimetres. Oh, they're perfect, aren't they? Very handy for sometimes if you have on a shirt and you haven't got your buttons lined up perfectly, you get a gape. And very handy. Actually, I was meant to put one at the top of my honey blouse, my fibre mood one. But in the end, I didn't put one on. But um, I could well do well that now I've got these. They're lovely. They're really nice little snap fasteners. Ooh. Oh, ah! where did it go ah! <laughs> I thought I'd just have a go oh I found it oh yeah they pop off really well <laughs> and they can pop back on really well oh they're great thank you very much beyond the pink door um right what was I going to say uh, I'm going to catch up on a vlog quickly um whilst I'm sitting here um yeah I need to catch up on a few of the other vlogmases honestly it takes so much time to um do the vlogmas and then do the editing and put it up that i'm running out of time to actually watch the other vlogmases so yeah i'm going to take this 10 15 minutes now just to watch another vlogmas because i feel like i've been missing out so yeah i'll do that now bit of me time before i go into work but anyway i will catch up with you after work and ex show you what we've been up to today but anyway i will see you in a bit bye hello i hope you're all really well so uh, what have we been up to today? So at work today, we had um, one of the children's friends around for a little play date um, and we made some gingerbread play-doh, which they really enjoy playing with. Um, I will put a link to the recipe down below because it's great. And actually I'll link the website for the Imagination Tree because they have some amazing um, activities and ideas for children for play, um, for preschool and school children, for age children. So yeah, I'd really highly recommend her blog. Um, <clears throat> what else did we do? Uh, we went out in the garden for a little bit, although it's freezing cold again and the poor snowman had fallen over today. <laughs> um, and then, oh, we made some little decorations. They were just a little Baker Ross kit um, that um, I got last year and I'd left in the cupboard and um yeah it was just these little um it was the wee three kings so they had their little gold frankincense and myrrh and they were just hand stitched and they were pre-cut holes so you, like felt in felt and you just had to sew it up and the children really enjoyed it and then they got to stick all the bits on like the features like the crown and the beard and the face and um some sequins as well um and yeah they look really nice so i'll put a picture in of those here um so yeah that was quite fun and then we had a mammoth afternoon of baking gingerbread <laughs> so tomorrow they've got another play date coming around um and i thought it'd be nice for the children to decorate their own mini gingerbread houses um so 
I made a massive batch of gingerbread dough with uh, two of the children and then two of the children then also decided that they were going to project manage how um, the baking was going to happen so it turned out actually cutting out the, the house shapes was quite hard so I did the cutting out then I had one on um, ticking off how many we'd done because we were doing six houses so we needed 12 roofs we needed 12 sides we needed six fronts and six backs of the houses so yeah they had a little list and they had a tally chart so every time I um had done one I'd be like I've done a side and they'd <laughs> tick it off and then I had another one that was helping with the oven now they're almost nine and um yeah I think as long as under adult supervision I was happy for them to yeah start learning how to unload and load the oven and they were actually really sensible about it I think it really gave them a little bit of um what's the word just to be a bit more self-reliant but to understand the dangers around stuff so like we do let them use knives as well in the kitchen now and yeah I think sort of understanding how to be safe around an oven is a good thing um so yeah she was yeah she was really good at using the oven gloves and putting it in and out and yeah she was on it with the timing and then once they come out of the oven then I'd have them back and then I'd just recut them because often when you make gingerbread houses you um put the shapes in the oven and then they come out and they've sort of expanded and they're not the same shape that you've cut them to so yeah you just i put the template back on and pre-cut around them and then there was meant to lots of little off cuts which they were all delighted to taste test so like we just better check this one's all right yeah better check just this one's all right <laughs> so yeah they had they did quite well on the gingerbread off cuts um so yeah so they're all baked um and then then they had tea and then i came home we had Kirsty and I had fajitas for dinner um, and now I'm up in my happy place and I'm in my Udi because it's really quite cold and yeah I thought I'll snuggle up in this sit in my happy place because I feel like I, I yeah a bit of time in my happy place will do me the world of good so I'm going to do a couple of jobs quickly whilst I watch some catch up on some vlogmases because I've been missing out I haven't been watching enough so I need to catch up on some um, so yeah, I'm going to make a few little letter gift tags, um, just three of them. Um, I'm going to copy Ruan's lovely um, little tutorial that she did for those. I'm going to yeah, use this gingerbread uh, uh, fabric, which I've just, uh, what's the word, interfaced on both sides. Oh, oh, interface, sorry, on one side, but I'm going to use as interface, I will then double up when I do the letters. And then I've got some of this satin fabric that I used for the headbands and I'm going to use that. I'm going to fold it over and sew it and then turn it inside out like a rouleau loop for the um, ribbony bit because I don't have any red ribbon. And I thought that'll work quite well. So I'm going to make those. And then I've also got four hairbands that I need to make. So I've got them pre-cut. I've got a green satin, a red satin, a little houses one and a little penguins. Christmassy festive penguins. So yeah, I'm going to get those made because I've got a lady in the village that's paid for those already, so they need to get made. So yeah, and then once I've done that, I'm going to wrap some presents that need to be posted. But I'm not actually going to put them in the Royal Mail. I'm going to send them through every because it's cheaper and I think they might get there quicker. Um, so yeah, that is my one mission for this evening. I've got 45 minutes and I'm going to make this happen. And then I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> so I might get this edited tonight if not I'll edit it tomorrow morning and put it up then but anyway I will sign off here I hope you have a lovely day um sorry it's a bit of a boring one from me but um I will be back tomorrow and I will see you yeah I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> and now I'm mumbling I'm clearly tired anyway lots of love my darlings bye